we got to talk about the elephant in the room because everywhere you look right now, conference realignment um, seems like, so the PAC 12 presented a, so Colorado left for the big 12. We did an episode on this. Go listen to that episode. But since then the PAC 12 uh, met with all, all the remaining nine school presidents and said, uh, guys, here's our TV package, $20 million per team through, via Apple streaming service only, which costs 70 bucks a month or 70 bucks a year, I think. And then a monthly charge for Apple plus. Um, and with the potential that they based on subscriptions could get more than the big 12 schools. And with that being the lone thing, I expect this to, to be the end of the, of the pack nine. I would be shocked if any of the schools signed up for that deal. I would be absolutely shocked. So, you know, what well, is there a home for all of them? I mean, it might not be the end of the pack 10 or, or pack nine, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it may just be look completely different because yeah, they, they might, uh, chances are they're going to lose a few more schools. It, we, it seemed like it was coming to this, like this, this shouldn't surpri- surprise anybody, especially when Colorado left and when they kept on stalling, you know, they, 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 they're, they were supposed to share these numbers like a month, two months a ago, ago. Yeah. a long time ago. They never came out. So you know what? You knew it wasn't going to be a great deal. And it's an awful deal. Like who's going to, uh, first off, not that many people are going to subscribe to Apple. So they weren't going to get those high figures because the the, the number of, of subscribers wasn't going to hit. That's my yeah. personal stance. What do you think? I don't think they were going to get the numbers needed to hit those accelerators. Oh, a hundred percent. They're not going to, especially. Yeah. Like, I mean, your best hope would be, I, I just don't think they would, no. uh, you know, we just saw it with the, their MLS plan, but I was like, okay, passionate fan bases. The Oregon schools have passionate fan bases. The Washington schools do Stanford and Cal fans. I don't think care. Nope. Um, uh, Utah. Yeah. I mean, maybe, but I don't really think so, but I don't really think so. And I, and here's another thing is, is what I mean is like, I don't think they, I think they're done as a conference. This is, I fully expect over the next Dude, 10 days, even, even the whack survived in some shape and form and fashion. So the pack 10 is going to be there. It just might only you have so? some, I, I think so. I mean, who knows? I mean, I, I I'm no expert with this whole realignment thing. I think we're both on the same page as we find it, you know, kind of ugly and really it's, it's all run by TV executives and it's, it's going to ruin a ton of rivalries. So I'm no, I'm no expert, but I think they're going to survive somehow. Just it's going to look completely different. Yeah. Uh, Vinny Villan- Villanova is talking about how long Yeah, No, I, I actually don't, I don't know how it's sustainable here. Cause I fully expect over the next 10 days for Arizona, Arizona state and Utah to be announced in the big 12. You know, and- what really sucks too, is that the pac 12, I mean, they're on, they're in, in store for a really exciting season. Yeah. You know, and this kind of just puts a dark cloud over everything. Oh, this is all Texas's fault. They're little bitches that started all this <laughs> shit. But but no, honestly, I, I fully expect Utah, Arizona, and Arizona State to be gone, right? Like soon, any day. By the time people are listening to this, maybe. Um, and I actually think the Big Ten is gonna get Oregon and Washington at a discounted price because it's still that discounted price is still gonna be higher than twenty million dollars. So they're going to just like the way Rutgers and Maryland entered the big 10, they will jump in there potentially Cal and Stanford too. I don't know. They might just go independent because uh, here's another thing. Even if Oregon state and Washington state jump to the mountain West, that might be better for them than right now. Folks, they wouldn't have national exposure on that app. Yeah, true. That's what I'm saying. I actually think the D if they were to jump to the mountain West, even though I think it's silly for them to be in the mountain West because those fan bases have done nothing to deserve this to not be regarded as a power five school. Um, it's probably a better Avenue than sticking around. So I, I uh, think that that whole label power five is going to fall by the wayside here pretty soon. Anyway, yeah, yeah, you, but, you, want, you want to call a major conference or, 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 you know, something like that. Okay. But yeah, co- I, Go ahead. College football is destroying itself. It, like, <laughs> look, I, I, I want to talk optimistically about the future of the sport, but I, I don't see it. I don't see it as I, I see myself being more aligned with whatever the group of five becomes or the FCS, because I don't care to see Washington and fucking Rutgers, man. 
it's football. Sure. But I, yeah. we're not going to have the apple cup. We're not going to have the civil war between Oregon, and Oregon state. Um, the only good thing about the, 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 the Utah joining the big 12 is we get the Holy war back and then True. Arizona, Arizona state, if they stay together then we have the, the, you know, what do they call it? The territorial cup, AKA the dust bowl stays, stays intact, <laughs> but uh, a little dust up. Yeah. A little dust up. But then you have uh, Florida state's president. They had a board of meetings today. And, and I mean, Florida state's president saying basically, uh, you know, we're, we're looking at our options to get the fuck out of here. Like, and, and, and we, we, we're not staying here. They said, he said it was very unlikely that we're in the ACC in the coming future. Uh, uh, Drew Weatherford, one of their uh, Florida state trustees said, it's not a matter of, uh, of if we leave the ACC, but now, uh, but how, and when we leave, which um, from what I understand this, they're going to be out of the ACC. A lot of people think in the next two years. So it could be, this could be in 10 days. And the SEC apparently is not one of those looking to get Florida State at the moment. So it would be either the Big Ten or the Big Twelve. All this shit's ridiculous. Once again, the SEC could I, I, right now. The SEC says they're fine at sixteen; they don't want to expand. But if they see the Big Ten grab a couple, then it's probably going to become an arms race, and then they but, could they could quickly turn on that. Well, here's why they don't want to do Florida State because the ACC has the ESPN deal with Florida state. Well, ESPN, that means the, well, ESPN the grand rights does, thing. Yeah. Well that, that thing too, but ESPN also doesn't want Florida state to join the sec because they're getting them at a discounted rate. Oh, so yeah, sense. you know what I mean? So it's like, it's, it's gotta be the big 12 or the big 10. I think uh, it's, it's just a mess, man. The thought of seeing, Hey, we, we got Iowa and Florida state playing today. It's <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> We do like regional football. You know, that's, you know, the, the one thing about great where I live, you know, college sports reigns supreme here. So if I, if I go to like a neighborhood barbecue, I know I'm going to run into a couple of NC state guys, a UNC guy, probably an ECU guy, maybe an app guy, you know, and not everybody has to be in the same conference, but the, the, the less these guys play each other, the worse it is for all fans. So uh, yeah. I don't think anybody, like I know some, some conferences are kind of giddy, like you know, Big Twelve fans, especially. Like I, I remember when the ACC originally expanded and they added, you know, Boston College and Syracuse and Pitt. I wasn't happy about that. I was like, I, I, I kind of understood why they were doing it, which I think is the same thing as as Big Twelve fans now. But I'm not happy about it because, a, you know, in basketball you lose your 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 home and aways. Yeah. In, in in football, you don't play everybody. It's gonna be you're gonna there's gonna be teams you don't play for four or five years. It's not gonna feel like a tight knit conference. It's not gonna feel like the MAC. The MAC is a tight knit conference. Yeah. The Sun Belt is a tight knit conference. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying is I I I actually think the greed and Pat Forty wrote a great article about this. I thought I just I texted you it uh, a few minutes before we went live on I think the greed in in driving Power Five college football could be the downfall of the sport. I, I know people think like, okay, this is great. You know, we keep, how much is enough? They act like they like, I, I was wondering this question. What is the uh, correct amount? If you're if the ACC and Florida state are getting 30 some million dollars a year, $35 million a year, whatever. How much do you really need to have a good football team? Because even your NIL collectives, it, it doesn't accommodate for $35 million. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I just think, you know, if Florida State sees that Florida is making double their money, they feel like they're they are at a competitive disadvantage. Which sure. I mean, I, it's it's true, <laughs> you know, but but you're right. I mean, do more with less, I suppose. But I mean, every school should be trying to earn as much money as possible. You can't blame the individual schools for for trying to make more. Yeah, well no, you can if they if they ignore what is the success and making like, what is, what, what is the thing that made this, this thing so loved by all of us? And that is the fact we do see Florida and Florida state every year. Sure. The fact that we do see Miami and Florida state every year or, or whatever the example you want to use. Yeah. I mean, but uh, Florida state has never been like a, a, you know, a big time ACC member, you know, they, they were signed up in the ACC with the mid nineties or something. Early nineties, I early think. Early nineties. Yeah. Yeah. If anything, the ACC would be in better position if Florida state would have kept their success on the football field, but they've sucked for a long time now. Uh, so I, I don't feel like they were ever, ever like, you know, married into the ACC. It was, you know, they, they joined, it was convenient, but they weren't like, you know, an old school ACC member. So I don't think they have any, 
necessarily, you know, deep ties to the conference. True. True. But I mean, well, they do. I mean, Miami, Florida state, that was a rivalry we would see all the time. And I can tell you, but this, they played it, before they were conference members. Yeah, true. But uh, if I, I, I would assume if Florida state joined, this is all, you know, speculation. I'm saying if they join the big 10, I would assume that would mean the death of the Florida, Florida state rivalry, because I don't think they're going to be playing each other in the non-con. So probably s- same with USC, Notre Dame. Right. That one's already on. That one's already. I think the the contract's up at twenty five, right. and they're trying to use that as leverage for Notre Dame to join the Big Ten. It's all disgusting, and I see right now as, we, as we're doing this show that uh, the Arizona Board of Regents has scheduled a meeting for tomorrow night. I would expect that would be that they are going to be because they're they're together, Arizona and Arizona State. So either way, TV execs may t- may be trying to kill the sport, but they won't because college football will always survive and. There's enough teams and enough leagues where maybe you're turned off by a couple, but there's always going to be good college football close to where you live because it's nationwide. So let's uh, let's not get too down in the dumps because we do have games, FCS, real we, live we, games in about three weeks. And we do host the FCS College Football Experience. And look, the Mac is you know the Mac is the Mac is still beautiful. The Mac, the Mac is exactly Sun Belt, even the Mountain West. I would say those three. Still, to me, the blueprint of uh, of college sports and, and what we like. Shout out to Weehawk. He's talking about <laughs> talking about point shaving. If interested, go <laughs> read it. Yeah, uh, folks, check it out. Uh, we're on YouTube. YouTube.com/slash/the College Experience.